Today, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. So, find the derivative of x raised to x raised to x. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. So, our goal in this question is to solve the derivative or to find the derivative of this function x raised to x raised to the power of x. Now, before we show the solution, here is the answer to this question. So, the answer is very short. This is just x raised to x raised to x multiplied by the quantity x raised to x minus 1 plus ln of x times x raised to x times the quantity 1 plus ln of x. And that is the answer. Now, the question is, how do we get this derivative? And here's the solution. All right, first, let's get our function. We have x raised to x raised to x. So we want to find the derivative of this function. Now, take note that if we have a raised to b raised to c, this can be written as a raised to the power of b raised to c. So x raised to x raised to x can be written as follows. We have x raised to the power of x raised to x. Now, to get the derivative of this, we will apply the generalized power rule. So it says that the derivative of p x raised to q of x must be equal to p of x raised to q of x times the derivative of the ln of p of x times q of x. Now here, our p of x must be equal to x and q of x must be equal to x raised to the power of x. Now let's apply this generalized power rule. So this is equivalent to x raised to x raised to x times the derivative of ln of x, which is our p of x, times q of x, which is x raised to the power of x. And now, let's get the derivative of this function. And since it is a product, so we will use the product rule. So the product rule says that the derivative of u times b must be equal to the second function times the derivative of the first plus the first function times the derivative of the second. Now, let's apply this product rule to the derivative of the ln of x times x raised to the power of x. Now, if we do that, we get, so just copy x raised to x raised to x, then multiply by the quantity, the second function times the derivative of the first, plus the first function times the derivative of the second. All right. Now, take note that the derivative of ln of x must be equal to just 1 over x. And also, the derivative of x raised to x, again, we will apply the generalized power rule to get the derivative of this. So again, derivative of p of x raised to q of x must be equal to p of x raised to q of x times the derivative of ln of p of x times q of x. Again, let's apply those identities. So just copy x raised to x raised to x x raised to x. Copy. Now the derivative of ln of x, this is just 1 over x given this identity or formula. And plus ln of x, copy this ln of x. And to get the derivative of x raised to x, we will apply the generalized power rule. So we have x raised to x times the derivative of ln of x times x. All right. Now, how do we get the derivative of ln of x times x? Again, we have a product, so we will apply again the product rule. So, the derivative of u times b must be equal to the second function times the derivative of the first plus the first function times the derivative of the second. So, let's apply this. All right. Copy x raised to x raised to x, x raised to x copy, 1 over x also copy, now plus ln of x copy, just copy this, then ln of x also copy, 
Now, the derivative of ln of x times x, so we apply the product rule. So, we have the second function times the derivative of the first plus the first function times the derivative of the second. Whew. Now, take note that the derivative of ln of x must be 1 over x. We know that. And the derivative of x is just 1. So, let's do that. So, this is just 1 over x. And the derivative of x is just 1. Now, let's simplify. Let's start with the number inside our parentheses. Now, x times 1 over x, x cancel out, so this is just 1. Now, ln of x times 1, this is just ln of x. And now, x raised to x times 1 over x, take note that this x have 1 in the exponent. So, we can rewrite this as x raised to x all over x. Now, let's apply some loss of exponent. If we have b raised to a over b raised to c, this can be written as b raised to the power of a minus c. Again, we have an exponent of 1 on the denominator, so x raised to x over x raised to 1 can be written as x raised to the power of x minus 1. And this is the derivative of x raised to x raised to x. And this is our final answer. And as always, we are done.